Hi friends, how are you? I hope you are all doing well. Uh, today I'm going to show you how you can create a VPN and access your private instances through Twingate. So Twingate, it's a startup and they are building um, tools to connect your private network using uh, their VPN services. It's uh, it's a kind of a like a bridge between your private networks and your developer. So nowadays, a lot of people are working from home and they wanted to in access their corporate network, which are like uh, a private network, not accessible throughout the world. And they can easily now access that using this tool to get. So today I'm going to show you how you can access your private instances which are uh, blocked by AWS firewall and using Twingate, you can easily connect. To do this, you need to um, have an account in uh, Twingate. It's free for 14 days. You can just, uh, they don't need any uh, credit cards or anything. You can just sign up and use this and you need to download their uh, client. So uh, I have downloaded Twingate for my local and then um, you can just use it. So, um, at first, I'm going to create a VPC, the new VPC, which will have a public subnet and a private subnet. And then I'm going to launch two instances, one for the public subnet and one for the private subnet. And then we'll show you how I can connect to that public subnet and also can connect to the instance of the private subnet. So let's get started. <clears throat> so first, I'm going to create the launch VPC wizard, where I'm going to create only a VPC. I'm going to give, give it a name. So, uh, get VPC. You can give any name as you want. So, for the CIDR block, I'm going to use 10.0.0.0 slash 16. <laughs> and everything as it is, you can give. So, let's create it. So my VPC has been created. Now let's create some subnets. We're going to create a minimum two subnets here, one for the public subnet, one for the private subnet. So let's create a subnet. Use the VPC at the subnet name. So it should be like public and then availability zone. I'm going to choose uh, 1A. So public 1A. And then I'm going to choose uh, dot slash info and create subnet. I'm going to create a new one that is uh, private. Let's say one B, and I'm going to choose the availability zone of one B. We'll use ten dot o dot one dot o slash twenty four. Let's see. Yeah, that is inside my <coughs> VPC block range and also doesn't interfere with the other subnets. So let's create one. So I have created uh, two subnets. Now I'm going to create an internet gateway. Create an Ethernet gateway. So let's say twin get IGW. Get an Ethernet gateway. The gateway is created. And let's attach to your VPC. I'm going to attach it to the twin get VPC. Okay, my internet gateway has been created. Now let's create it. Uh, route tables. Route tables is actually it's a uh, as you know it's a routing table between the subnets so where my request will go if i make any uh, requests so this is my default route table so if i click here so as you can see there is already a destination has been created the 10.0.0.16 it should route to local that means internally they are connected now <clears throat> I don't want to uh, connect publicly, so let's keep as it is. And uh, subnet association, let's say I'm going to choose the 
private one. Then I'm going to create a uh, new route. It is the uh, public route. Ringgit. I'm going to choose the Ringgit DPC, the route table. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit routes and set it. 0, .0, 0, 0 that means it is public internet and I'm going to route it to uh, Internet Gateway. This is my IGW. That means any subnet belonging to this uh, route net should be available. I go to the public one, save association. Okay, so we have added two route tables. Now I'm going to add an add gateway so that my private uh, subnets can access internet. So to get uh, at gateway, select the subnet. So I should select public 1A. The net gateway should be inside the public subnet. So allocate an elastic IP, get net gateway. So the net gateway is uh, on on its on its way to uh, creation. It might take around one or two minutes. Meanwhile, let's go to our uh, route table back and um, assign that private route table. This is the main one. And we didn't assign anything for the public internet access. So if anyone tries to access public internet, they should go where the Net gateway. Get this. Okay, so we have created our VPC with one public subnet and one private subnet. Now let's create two instances here. I'm going to launch a new instance here. So let's say my public instance. <clears throat> I should keep keep everything as it is. Now let's go to <laughs> instance type t2 micro that's fine i have uh, already created a key pair so i'm going to use that in the network settings i'm going to edit and uh, choose the one that i created and then it should be inside public mm. i need to have a public ip and uh, create security group that's fine ssh full access that's okay anything else I am instance profile is it to role. I have created this I am instance profile previously to connect via SSM. So if you don't know, you can check my other videos where I have explained everything. So looks good to me. Let's create launch instance. This instance inside that public subnet, so it will be accessible publicly. The only instances. And I should be able to see that now new instance. It's publicly available and it should have a public IP. That's good. Now I'm going to create a, a new instance that is for the private one. And I'm going to use Ubuntu for that. Why Ubuntu? It's just uh, easy to connect. I'm going to choose that one, the same key. The network settings, I'm going to choose the VPC and here I'm going to choose the private. And for security group, I'm just going to use the existing one. And details, EC2 instance profile role, this is the role. And everything as it is. Launch. The all instances. We give some time so the both instances are launched properly now um this is my public instance i should be able to connect it from my local pc let's try to connect it 
Here is the PM file and I'm going to connect it. <coughs> so this is it. PM key file and then is it to user and the public IP. Yes, so I'm easily able to connect here. That's clear. Let's update to do job update minus y. It is updating. So that's good. Now, um, let's launch a new PowerShell here. And let's try to connect to this one, the private one. It doesn't have any public IP. So usually you are guessing that I would not be able to connect it. But let's show you. This is H I Ubuntu. It shouldn't find the public IP. That's fine. That's normal. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, use Twinget. That's our duty. We're going to use Twinget. And then using the Twinget VPN client, we are able to easily connect to our private instance. So let's do that. So I am logged into Twinget uh, and I've created an account. And then I'm going to add a remote network. So click Add Remote. It's AWS. And let's give it a name like. Uh, Testing in gate. So um, now I'm going to connect with deploy connector. I'm going to use Docker, generate tokens. It will ask me to authenticate. So I'm going to authenticate here. And while it is authenticating, it should be able to generate me some API keys and secret. So here is my command. Now, he, this is a Docker command. That means I need to have Docker installed into my EC2 instance. So let's do that first. So let's do sudo su. I am privileged as root. Now yum install Docker. Let's see, we have installed Docker here. <laughs> it is, we have Docker 20. So I'm going to yes, press yes. And the Docker instance, Docker installation is almost done. Okay, the Docker has been installed. Let's start the Docker system CTL. Start Docker. Docker has been started. Now let's copy the command. This is the command. And we should be able to run it here. It is running and it's done. So it's simple and it should show me that it is now connected. Here it is, you see? That means I'm connected <coughs> using that instance, using that Docker image. So <laughs> that's okay. Now I, I go to uh, my main network here and then I create a, uh, that's okay. I, I add a new resource here. The resource is a, like my private, um is any instance in into my public or private uh, subnet so here i'm going to connect to the, my the public private one so i'm going to copy that so let's go here and give it a name private instance let's give the dns address it can be dns or it can be ip address as well i am going to choose the dns one so let's use that Choose for all users. And that is connected. 
or it is, it is actually showing active now i have to get client already installed in my local and i'm going to log into my account if you click here it will automatically redirect to your browser and authenticate the credentials and uh, yeah here it is it will authenticate the credentials and then it will uh, connect to that There it is it shows connected that's good so now um, what i'm going to do is i'm going to try to connect to that uh, private instance which was previously not possible so let's try it. okay uh, it is still not possible to connect just a moment let's see what happens here Is the private instance running? Okay. Let's uh, connect to the public instance and then maybe I have uh, forget to add something in my route table. So let's check here and routes is public and this is the private one. Okay, submit association, private one day. That's okay, net. Let's go to the net gateways. It is up and running. Okay, let's try to see if the net instance is up and running. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect using the PM file. So, let's do the PM file. <laughs> which I have in my local. And then I'm going to paste it here. Okay. Save it. Okay. Now I'm going to try to connect. Uh, To the private instance because it's on a local. Let's try to copy the IP. So SSH. First, I need to make this non-executable. SSH. Dot fm. Ubuntu at the So uh, I was able to successfully connect to the private instance from my public instance. Now I'm going to check uh, whether it has internet access. So let's sudo apt update. It is able to upgrade and uh, let's say try to install something. So install Nginx. Let's see if it can be able to install Nginx. Yep. It can. So our net um, instance or net gateway that works fine. Let's try to see if we can connect to that uh, key exchange identification close the next by close. What I'm going to do, I'm going to just uh, Yep. 
private instance. Copy the address, probably have filled out something. Hi. It is still same. Just a moment. I think I have those. Okay, I'm going to just uh, terminate this private instance and let's try to connect with the new one. So this is connection closed. I'm going to launch a new instance here. Private connect with Ubuntu. Then I'm going to choose the key pair. In the network, I'm going to use uh, that one and the private one. Use the existing security group. Let's see. Switch role. And everything should be kept as default. So uh, let's see. We have terminated one and now creating a new one. Let's copy this IP address. Let's try to add a new resource here. Add a resource for all users. Okay, now let's see whether is it running. Okay, it's almost starting. Now let's see if we can able to connect here. The address SSH. I say yeah, here it is. We are successfully connected. Awesome. So you see, now we are connected to a private instance which is uh, connected through the Twin Gate VPN, and I can just run anything like. Uh, APT update, and as we are connected through a net gateway, the internet is now connected through, through the net gateway. We can instance, uh, we can install like databases, MySQL, or maybe MongoDB, whatever you want. All things are possible now. So I hope that makes sense. Probably I had uh, just created the private instance first, but uh, maybe that, that's the reason because the net gateway was not working. But so far it is working fine. And as you can see, I was able to connect to the private instance. So I hope this helps you to uh, stay connected with, uh, with your private instances, which is under the firewall of AWS network. And then uh, from your remote team members also can easily connect using doing it. This is, I have shown to you via AWS, but you can try with other, um, platforms as well, like uh, GCP, Azure, et cetera. I hope this helps you to uh, stay connected and uh, encourages you to work remotely and connect to your private uh, uh, subnets or private uh, instances through this VPN network. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.